shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Bluebeard was mentioned. Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak, so don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. The guy has a history of beheading young women. I'd say that's something worth checking out. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. By that rationale, you're a suspect as well, Wolf. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history rules. Mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do... I can't help you. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work. Still looking! Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. 
or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Beast. Beauty and the Beast. You're getting warmer, but that's me. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Woodsman? Yep, and his axe. Colin and his brothers. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairair
Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? Toad, got your glamour yet? Yeah, 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 it's fine. Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, wait. Well, hang on. Boy! Shit! Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> 